we would understand the various tools for measuring the poverty. Now these four are the most important tools that are commonly used. Let's understand them one by one. What is headcount ratio? Headcount ratio is the percentage of people living below the poverty level or uh, living below a threshold. So let's say this is the poverty level. So how many number of people are below that poverty line would be considered as head, head count ratio and therefore under head count ratio we say that we understand the number of poor people. The next is poverty gap ratio. Poverty gap ratio helps us to understand the severity of the poverty. So let's say in a country you have the average of 100 rupees a day that should be earned. You have five different people and you have two different regions. Now let's say the last three work very well and they earn a decent living. So there is no issue of poverty for them because they all are above 100 a day. However, these two in both the cases, let's say is 80 and 90 and here it's 40 and 50. Now what would happen in case of B? In case of B, the poverty gap ratio would be higher. Now let's understand this in a simple fashion. I have a poverty level. Uh, this person is here at a poverty level, that's the level of 80. However, the other person is at a level of 40. So here the gap of the poverty is higher and we can understand the severity of poverty in case of B is much higher. Now to help uplift this one person in region B, a lot of input would have to go from the remaining persons 3, 4 and 5 to help him reach 60 more and attain a level of 100. However, in case of A, it would require only 20 more. So a little input from 3 and a little input from 4 would suffice. So that's how we understand the poverty gap ratio and it talks about the severity of the poverty. When we talk about squared poverty gap ratio, basically what we do is we add or we sum up the square of the poverty gaps that has come through the various findings here and therefore this is also known as the severity index because it's assessing the same poverty gap ratio but in a more severe form. The next is Sain's index. It has been named after Professor Amritya Sain who won the Nobel Prize in Economics for his welfare economics. His idea was pretty unique. So he, what he did was he brought around the three concepts. He talked about the number of the poor people as per the headcount ratio. He talked about the depth of the poverty as per the poverty gap ratio. Along with these two, he also included the distribution of poverty. So what he did was, his index was based on an idea which accumulated the number of poor people, the depth of poverty as well as the distribution of the poor people. So these four are the very important tools that we talk about when we understand or we try to measure the poverty levels. Thank you.